Hello everybody, thanks for being here. I really am excited to bring you this next episode and unfortunately I lost a whole bunch of footage due to a corrupt memory card. But that had the introduction to a friend coming to visit me. Somebody you might know already, Amanda and Frank from Tideline to Alpine. So I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, it was a lovely week to hang out together. I really, really appreciate her friendship and her company and Frank's lovely, lovely kisses. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. It really helps out a lot. If you want to see more, I've started a Patreon account and I'll be posting real-time updates and further insights into behind the scenes over there. Thank you so much. Without further ado, I hope you enjoy this week's episode. Are you so excited to be outside for sunset? <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm yeah. hungry too now. It's been a long day of like yeah. construction. Apparently and building work. walls makes appetite. Yeah. And I wanted something to hydrate us, so. Oh, good thinking. Soup. Because I came in here with the intention of drinking water and poured a glass of wine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I could get a drink. <laughs> oh, I think I won't tonight. <laughs> Frank's like, I need attention. Nobody's paying attention. You just put it on my lap. <laughs> this is perfect for our next item of the evening. This. I haven't done one of sawdust. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yes, I got so much sawdust in the face. I haven't done a flake. A, like, <laughs> I Frank. I haven't done a spa day in so long. Oh, yeah, here. This? It's a spa de truck. <laughs> oh my god. No, that's not for dogs. <laughs> He's gonna be like, what the heck? Hi, buddy. Hi. On my lap. Okay. So I do it like how I apply stickers. Like I start like in the middle and like work my way. Like, oh yeah, good. <laughs> Frank. I don't know whose face they're shaped for, but it's not exactly mine. No. But it's I've done I've done them a few times. It's <laughs> so funny. <laughs> you should not to laugh. <laughs> Hi everybody, we have had like a week almost of torrential rain and things are starting to flood and parks and creeks and lakes are just overflowing into the car parks and footpaths and stuff and that has not been without consequences for my lovely home it leaks like crazy along the windscreen and last night i developed a new leak which was so stressful <sighs> it's right above my bed and we tried to go to the laundromat on friday and because it was a day after a public holiday it was closed so all of my bed is stripped already so behind me on the bench is like been all my washing for the last three days which has kind of made living in here a bit difficult because I've got nowhere else to put it once it's all like gathered together and stripped off my bed um, so I put a towel in the wall to try and catch all the water but it's seriously dripping I'm going to show you in a second and then I got up this morning and like I'm parked on a slightly different angle this way like today and my battery is dead in my van and I don't know why my battery is dead like I have no idea other than maybe water like 
nothing on the dashboard is on the headlights are off i don't think i left the key in accessories mode i don't know actually because i now <laughs> i woke up half asleep i had such a shitty sleep just because i was like lying and my head is right next to this soggy towel with <laughs> it's leaking into i'm just ready to move into my new home and it's not ready fast enough It's leaking in here from like back there somewhere. All of this is wet underneath it, it's moldy. This towel is now like completely saturated on that side because it's been raining all night. You can see the water. <sighs> and like this is where my head is and I don't even have like sheets on my bed right now because the laundromat wasn't open. Like I can't, I just, I'm done. I wish it was an excitement. down the street with your washing to go to the laundromat. Oh, it's open this time. Spring Island, all things considered. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know if you can see it, but the waterfall starts all the way up here and it comes all the way down. This is just down from my house and this is not normally water. There has been so much rain in the last five days. There's flooding everywhere. I 
the top of the hit ridge. Yeah, just like in the back. Yeah. They're beautiful up there. like the first the first dry night we've had in like a week for what happens in the full moon for you more noise <laughs> oh. Oh. it's like frank's like what's going on why do i have to still wear a cone cheers everybody <laughs> chilly this morning come on mystery come on oh so close yes no. oh. Oh. come on it's like the race between getting it started and the battery dying. <laughs> oh, thank, I was worried it wasn't gonna start there for a second. And it still sounds real rough. Does it always start? It, if I'm on, cause I'm on this angle like this, it's really bad. If I'm flat, it will generally take two, maybe three guide times and it will start. Yeah. But because I'm on this little bit of a hill, extra bad. Oh. Nice. So it's better, it's better when it's warmed up too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yay. Now I have the exhaust pipe for my heater for my big van so that I can dry some wood in there. That'll be really good to have that running for a bit. Yay! I'm pretty excited today. We're filming a tour of my current van and it feels like a really nice last hurrah way to pay respects and make, like really commemorate this van and the things I love and enjoy about it as I'm moving in and building my new van and planning and getting excited for all of that. This is where we are. It's gonna be beautiful. Yeah. Oh, look at that reflection on the water. It's just gorgeous. Thank you. 
you a cow. You're down the middle of your I think it was the perfect sunset. So lovely. Nice mm -hmm. to get outside. <sighs> sunset after like a week, two weeks of rain and like torrential rain. <sighs> it's a relief. <laughs> 